applicants uh, need to do a lot of due diligence in, in their application process. Uh, there are two reasons for that, really. One is that they're, they're in general, uh, professors fall along a spectrum of uh, being interested in the problem you want to solve all the way to being interested in how you can help them solve their problem. And so what you need to understand, uh, both about yourself and about the supervisor that you're trying to work with, is where along that spectrum you'd like to lie. Are you a real independent thinker who want to come to university, work collaboratively with a professor on a problem that you bring to that collaboration? Or do you want to join a big team, be a small cog in a big working machine, and through that process, contribute to furthering the goals that the professor has already identified. The majority of professors fall into the latter category that I described. Uh, I don't. The other thing I would like to say is that uh, you, uh, you become aware of professors uh, through what I would call as their shop front. Uh, this is my web page, this is my team, this is my lab, I found a really good acronym, all of that kind of stuff. Do your due diligence, get in touch with their students, read their papers, understand what kind of a person they are. And so the second dimension of it is, do they have the personality that you think you can work with for three to five years? Uh, that's really, really important because essentially uh, they hold the kind of the, the nature of your experience in their hand in that period and you're ceding control to them for that period and they, they better be someone that you're comfortable uh, sharing this time with 